So I was on Yahoo today and I saw this article on Paula White uh, suggesting, apparently she's suggesting that people send their January salary or face consequences from God. And I just bowed my head. I, I can't believe that this kind of thing still goes on. And I can't believe, I cannot believe in this day and age that people still fall for this. It is shockingly disturbing. But here it is. Here's the video. Of course, she says, honor God with your first fruits offering and click the donate button. So she goes on, and I'm not going to play any clips from this video. She's as a disgusting of a human being as one can be. If you're watching this and you're a Paula White fan, let me assure you that this woman is as far from Jesus Christ as one could get. She has a seared conscience, and she is in it for the money. She literally slept her way to the top. I mean, try to try to imagine what I just said there. This is supposed to be a spiritual person, a representative of Jesus Christ. And with no conscience, she slept her way to the top, literally sleeping with Benny Hinn and right on through. And I'll tell you what, this woman is about to get paid because of this little video that she did. You know, in 1 Peter chapter 5, look what it says here about a good minister. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. This is who Paula White is. She's doing it strictly for filthy lucre. And again, this woman is going to get paid because of this video she just put out. Now, in this article, I'm going to show you how manipulation works. You ready? Of course, here's Paula White. Ugh. Let me, we're going to look at some excerpts on what she said in the video. This is some of the quotes that she said. When you honor this principle, oh, so it's a principle, and it must be honored. Okay, so she's telling you that you need to honor this. Of course, these are words that she's using to manipulate you. It provides the foundation and structure for God's blessings and promises in your life. Good grief. I've been listening to this garbage for 30 years, over 30 years, and it, it, it's astonishing that it still works on people. But watch now how she turns this almost into an infomercial. Look what she says here. You can almost hear it reads like this. It unlocks deep dimensions. This is like a movie theater, what do you call it, a trailer. In a world where you donate to Paula White, you can unlock deep dimensions. <laughs> See how silly that is? But these are power words and phrases that she uses. That if you just apply what I'm telling you to do, just send me your money. These spiritual truths will literally transform your life. Who doesn't want their life transformed, right? Of course, this applies to you and I. Here she even tells you. Apply this. Everything comes. Uh-oh, here's another saying. Divine alignment. Good grief. Power words. For his plan and his promises for you. Now, here's the kicker. Now, if you read all this and you're like, well, I'm really tickled and I did get some goosebumps, but I'm not quite there yet. This is where she gets you. When you don't honor it, whether through ignorance or direct disobedience, there are consequences. So if she doesn't get you with the tickles, she'll get you with the threats. See how she's got all bases covered? And this is what every good false prosperity gospel teacher does. They nail you on all dimensions. In many other cases, not necessarily in this one, they'll get you on your sicknesses. They'll play to your sicknesses, that if you just send him money, of course, God's going to heal all your sicknesses, or he's going to get you that love, you know, that new boyfriend, that new girlfriend, or, you know, the romance department, or it's going to be uh, occupational. This is what they do. This one is particularly because she thought of something new, the first fruits. She's going to apply the first fruits to you, and so why not do it, not to your first paycheck, but let's just do it to the whole month of January, right? How about that, huh? Brilliant, Paula, you harlot. 
Well, scooch this over. Of course, we want to look. How does this apply in actual scripture? First Timothy chapter four, look what it says. We know Paul is actually prophesied about, and here it is. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in a latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Devils. Doctrines, seducing spirits, these are anything that take you away from the truth of Christ. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared. See, this is Paula right here. This is Benny Hinn. This is Joyce Meyer. This is Joel Olstein. All those prosperity gospels who could care less about the truth of Jesus Christ. This is who they are. Their conscience is seared. This is how a person like Paula White can have a full-blown public affair with Benny Hinn and not give a darn that anybody knows about it. They roll through these firestorms quite easily. Why? Because they don't have a conscience. They're walking devils. Let's wrap it up here. Do not send this woman your money. Not unless you just are a glutton for punishment or you love to be abused. Because if you send money to this woman, all she's going to do is get more plastic surgery. She's going to travel the world some more, buy another house, more cars, clothing. That's what she does. And she scammed you. You might not think she scammed you, but if you send her money, you consider yourself, you've been scammed. That's very sad. You know what you should do? Seek Jesus Christ with all your might. Get on your knees and pray unto God. And again, if uh, you have to send your money somewhere, um, pray to God. He'll tell you where to send it. I can tell you that God's not going to tell you to send it to this one. That's for sure. If you have any comments, questions, uh, feel free to leave them. Otherwise, God bless for those of you that love Jesus Christ.